Hello, print princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're here to talk about the new holiday offering from By Terry. This is the By Terry VIP Expert Palette number six, Opulent Star. So glad to have you here. Don't forget that you can follow me also over on Instagram. TikTok and on threads, but we have a lot to do here. I love By Terry, an amazing makeup artist and an amazing brand located over in Paris. This is the sixth expert VIP palette. All of them are called Terribly Paris. They all have gorgeous, I have all of them actually, they all have gorgeous little covers. And then we have inside these shades. Look at these shades. Look at this. You say you want something different from your eyeshadows? Check this out. In US dollars, this is $58. Again, this is called Opulent Star. This is all matte and metallic, and I'm sure will be limited edition. Look at these shades. So many of us say we're so bored of seeing the same shades over and over. This, These are really fun while still being kind of kicked up neutrals. I mean, they're really exciting purples and blues, but there's also these golds and browns and some pinks to kind of ground things. This is everything at once and really will be a, a dream for those of us who love color. And if you have worked with By Terry shades before, they have improved so much since the first VIP palette, and they've just gotten creamier and more buildable, and I think very, very beautiful. We have these very diverse shades, so we're gonna do two looks, but let's first go ahead and take a look at these on my arm in two different lights. Here they are in studio lighting. Look at these colors, how pretty they are. And you can kind of tell that they're a soft wash of color that is also easily buildable. They do not skip. Uh, they are not powdery like, um, say Tarte or Too Faced would be. They're definitely creamy, but on the little bit of the thinner side, very much like um, a lot of European luxury brands of eye makeup are. Okay, and let's see them a little better outside in the warm California sunshine. A little bit overcast this morning, a little bit of gloom this morning, but it actually makes the shades even prettier to see in natural lighting. So take a look at those. We are going to do two shades. Do me a favor though and check below and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. I have my eye on 20k subscribers and I would love to get there as soon as possible so please help me. Make sure you're still subscribed and if you haven't give it a click. Okay let's take a look at these here. I really don't know which ones to look at. Having green eyes, purple is good for me. Blue, not always the best for me, but not bad. And of course we know I love my browns, pinks, and golds. So let's take some Sonia G brushes today and do two different looks. I'm gonna start with this sky brush here, this nice fluffy sky brush. And on this eye, let's start uh, by putting this beautiful pink kind of metallic -y glowing shade all over the lid. Now, I have told you guys so many times, I am not a makeup artist. I am a fashion and beauty journalist. So this isn't really a tutorial. I make some fun looks and I, I like the looks I achieve. So I'm thrilled if you want to copy them. Um, but this is much more to test the formula. I just want everyone to know where we're at with this. Okay, so I went with the pink there and I'm going to take this really pretty shade here. We're going to kind of do, I think, a pink and brown look on this eye. And you'll see as I put this in here, I'm just kind of building the look. Let's switch to a little bit more of a uh, brush here with uh, a Lotus brush from Sonia G. And just get a little bit of that all the way under the eye. Back to our fluffy brush. I said we're going to do pink and brown here. So back to our fluffy, fluffy brush there, just into that kind of cocoa shade and up and over just to widen the eye a little bit and also lift it so I don't look so sad and tired trying not to anyway this shade right here same brush again we don't want any brush laundry if we don't have to and just going into this really pretty pink shade here all over the eye and up isn't that pretty okay and then um let's see I don't know, should we do some gold? Maybe we should do some gold too. Let's do a little bit of gold. 
just over the eye right here. I think I'll use my finger for that metallic shade uh, because I'll get a little bit more payoff. I like this because it's so gentle. I'm gonna put some of that gold right here in the inner corner. It's These shades are so buildable. They A little bit like a Viseart. I'm, I'm struggling to make sure that you understand um, the feel and the texture. And they're just, they're very much a wash of color that's easily buildable, easy to work with, and really pretty. I think by Terry can be described as really pretty. A quick word on scent. A lot of people I know in comments have told me that they love by Terry, but they're not a fan of the signature by Terry rose scent. I like it because it's true rose, it's natural, but a lot of people don't love it. Please note that this eyeshadow palette is completely fragrance free. You won't smell anything on there. So if you're bothered by that, please know you're safe here. Let's do another look on the other eye. There's kind of a nice pink and brown look. Let's do something on this eye. Uh, let's do something more into the purple. Let's go right into this purple. I have switched to a brand new brush. And let's just go ahead and put some purple right here in the corner and up. Because with, I didn't even tap off the brush there, with green eyes like I have, purple really should be my shade. And that's really pretty there. And going under, let's get that purple under the eye as well with another Sonia G brush. Okay, so, so far, nice. Little bit of purple there. Um, I don't, the black to me is more of a liner. I'm gonna go into the shade. I'm gonna put it very heavily onto the lid and blend it in with the purple. I wanna do very different looks here, you guys. And as those blend together, I'm not even tapping off the brush. I wanna do something very loud. I think that's a good word for it. And very kind of out there. And those are really just mattes. But now that we have the mattes on, now I feel I can really go over some of these shades we've used before, but that's okay. Um, it's such a different look. I can really show you how these metallic shades look. I'm applying with the finger. Um, there's no fallout. These aren't glittery, they're just metallic. But I'm applying with the finger for kind of maximum effect. And I think that's super pretty. And if I were to do a look like this and maybe use something like a shield so I could get a really straight line there, I'll let you guys do the artistry. I'm just testing out the way the shades look. And I'll tell you, I absolutely love this matte with one of their subtle metallics over it. I just think it's a beautiful shade and you can apply your own artistry to the process. But in terms of trying them out, I mean, Look at that, super subtle, super bold, same palette. And even though these shades might look a little bit more wild than certain neutral palettes, I think it still has a, a bit of neutrality to it. And it's a lot of fun for the holidays and those who love color without being like Norvina color, you know what I mean? Like rave color, it's not like that at all beautifully performing palette. I am a big fan of By Terry. I think she is an amazing makeup artist and I love the brand By Terry. So beautiful. Um, all of the shades have the embossed kind of Parisian Eiffel Tower and just pretty little By Terry emboss. It's just a really, this is a fun one. This is my favorite VIP expert palettes in a while. And you guys know I usually shy away from too much color. I just think this is just enough color really gonna be a favorite colorful palette. Now here's my question to you. Those of you who are fans of colorful palettes who have, like I said, Viseart and a lot of you know different by Terry and different colorful palettes, what sorts of uh, comparisons and contrasts do you need to see? I love to do that, as you know, over on Instagram. You can ask me here, let me know your name on Instagram so I can tag you, or you can DM me or in comments over on Instagram so I can compare that for you. I think this is a super pretty one, and I think these shades just performed beautifully. I know I'm a little lopsided here. A really a big winner for those who want to try some color but don't want to go too, too far out of their comfort zone. This, is, this one is a winner for Terry. It's absolutely beautiful. So let me know your thoughts. I will, have, I will link this below so that you can find it. Check out information on our membership here on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts. That's what makes us a community. And of course, share, like, and subscribe, of course. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.